Jen, maybe you're going to end up getting stuck here and you got to stay with us, which is okay. Alan Pack for it. You're stuck with me for quite a while, actually. Uh, and we're going to go to another really cool story, though, right now. This one from Amazon.com. It's got us all talking this morning. They want robotic helicopters to fly books and toys to your door. This idea is still years away, but we wanted to know how possible really is it today? We sent Dave Malkoff out in the rain to a hobby store in Georgia for answers. Press a button and your package loads onto an Amazon Prime drone for 30-minute delivery, literally over the river and through the woods to anyone's house we go. This is the dream of the world's largest online store. It's fully stabilized, too. It's very cool. AtlantaHobby.com's warehouse is where experts build the same kind of drones Amazon wants to use. I'm Cliff Whitney. I kind of like to say I'm the debt holder of this place. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot of planes. There's a lot of planes. We have a lot of toys. With a camera on the bottom and GPS autopilot on top, helicopter drones have become a popular, expensive hobby. Twelve to $14,000 for this helicopter. That's correct. Right? But you have little things that look almost like a Toy here. Absolutely, this is a DJI Phantom. For about 500 bucks, the same kind of stabilized drone technology is out there for hobbyists. The rules are different though when a company wants to fly drones. Yeah, I wouldn't want this thing flying into my house and you know banging into grandma. That's that's not going to happen. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos told CBS 60 Minutes drone deliveries are not just around the corner. Yeah. I know it can't be before 2015 because that's the earliest that we could get the rules right. uh, from the FAA. The reality is, is a ship like this has a flight time of about eight minutes today. That's it? That's it. Eight, maybe 15. And that's using the latest hybrid car type battery packs. So it is pouring outside here. Uh, what's the weather impact on these devices? Well, you're dealing with units that obviously have a lot of electricity in them, but uh, they would fly in the weather, but they don't necessarily like it. So bottom line, until the battery power, the FAA rules, and of course, the weatherproofing on these devices change your deliveries, are probably gonna keep coming on something like this. In coming Georgia, I'm Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. It got us talking though, right? They got what they want out of that story, that's for sure. All right, let's talk about the rain in the south. You saw Dave out there in the rain. We've got a lot of rain coming.